country roads take me home. Welcome to that one show where we camp <laughs> about one time a year for me. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't I don't go camping. I don't I haven't been I, like I actual camping, camping in a long time. I want to. I would. Yeah, yeah it's something I would like to do often well, not often, but like more often than I do, which is like once every few years. I wanna go camping in like Georgia. That'd be cool. I want to sit out in there. Okay, but we're gonna Humidity. start. Yeah, we're gonna start off with a banger of a topic for the first topic. Our homie, he's back on YouTube. Sam is back. Sam Onella. Oh the man, best YouTube channel. We've been watching Sam Onella since like some of his first videos. I think. Yeah, like probably since like I showed you the so. the first time I should you see you saw Sam Onella. I showed you the. Uh, the dog deformities episode. I think it was yeah. that one, or yeah. like the the emu war one. Yeah, it already has the new episode already has five million views, and it's only been out. It had a million views in six hours. Like that's it. That's how you know everybody fucking like. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it's been that... it's been up for as of right now the making of this episode five days. I wonder how many subs he gained from that. I haven't like kept oh, track I, of that. I can't even imagine. I'm sure there's an analytic somewhere that you can look up, but I'll I'll put the new video in the link down because it's actually a really funny video too. It's actually just a good video. Like he, I'm I'm glad he didn't even talk about why he was gone. He just did it. Yeah. He just did the fucking. He video. might do that on like a separate video on a separate channel. He did it on vlogs. Yeah. That's... What's Ricky doing? What's Ricky doing? Tell me. Do you yeah. know about Ricky? I forget the about channel him. that is attached to Sam Onella Vlogs. Oh and yeah, I, I do know that one. The yeah. fucking dog. The dog channel. What the dog? What the dog doing? It's a good question. What's the dog up to? The videos on uh, animal scientific names, which is a cool topic in itself, and it's a very researched video just because of how much content is in there. Yeah, there's a lot. And there's a lot of funny shit in there. At least he came back with a big video. Yeah. It wasn't like five minutes long. It was actually like an eight full, like eight minute, 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah, that one was, it was really good though. I highly recommend it if anyone wants to check that video out. Because he just has a, people who don't know what his channel is about, he just does like, mostly like historical and scientific videos. Yeah. With like comedy and it's really funny and it's all animated. Like, with stick like stick figures. figures. Uh, it's just very entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. What else has been happening this week? Uh, the, the, we could talk about what he kind of overshadowed, like, the day before. Oh, yeah, the dream he, face reveal, because he, he hit a million subs, right? It was, I think he hit, like, 10 million. Or, or 10 million? I don't know what the fuck it was for, really. Yeah, I, I don't uh, know. I was not a really big dream fan. Like, I don't really, I know, I've never really, I mean, I watched his videos before. Yeah. And I, I thought they were okay. I thought they were pretty good. But, like. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but like, I wasn't too hyped for it, and but it turned out my suspicions were correct. He's just an average looking white dude. Yeah. He's not like super ugly. He's not like super good looking. He's just very average white yeah, dude. Yeah, he's just white. He's oh, just, Thirty million subs, so I guess. I don't know why he posted it. Um, I guess he just decided to do it. Yeah. He's just a, to me. He's just the most. Average looking dude ever. Yep, he's, he's just, just a dude. He's just wow. He's human. <laughs> he's a human being. Yeah, he's not like super charming looking. He's not what everyone else on Twitter's been saying he is, like ugly as shit. But you yeah, know, he's just a dude. I, I feel bad for him because <laughs> I do feel bad for him because there was like five hashtags of just like shitting on him. Yeah, and it was just thousands and thousands of tweets of just. Like, imagine you've been hiding your face for the entire world, you finally, like, show it, and everybody's like, you, you fucking ugly ass piece of shit. Right. I mean, it's the internet, so. <laughs> but I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. But, like, you know. Wait until they see my face. Especially, it just bugs me, because he's, like, not really an ugly dude, either. He's yeah. He's kind of, like, he's just an average guy. <laughs> it's like, I don't, doesn't make any sense to I me. don't know. It's just how it is, I guess. I was going to say something else about YouTube, but I forget now. So, uh, what's the... Oh, the Phillies, that's it. Yo, have you been checking out the Phillies recently? I know you're not really a sports person, but... Uh, are they doing good? So, here's the... Th here, let me break it down for you real quick. Okay. So, the Phillies, they have not made the playoffs since 2011. Uh-huh. I was a third grade boy or so that time. Yeah. 
They made the playoffs this year. Oh, shit. Somehow. They're trying. Yeah, they somehow made it into the postseason. And I was just happy for them to be there. I was like, I don't even care if they get destroyed in the first round. I'll be happy. I'm be happy if they're just here, and they're here, and that's yeah. great. But it gets better. So this past weekend was the first round, the wild card. We first we're the bottom seeded team in our, our division or our what's it called our conference because we had like 87 wins compared to everyone else has like a lot more mm-hmm. or so. So we versed the third seeded team, the team the Cardinals, and uh, I didn't expect us to win the series at all. We did not just win the series. We swept them, oh, bitches. Shit. It's a best of three series, and we won the first two games. Oh, We so. shit on them. And they have, like, some really good players that are about to retire this year. So we just destroyed their ambition. Yeah. They're not going to be good anymore. Oh, we pretty no. we pretty much gave them the death blow. Because <laughs> they're all their best players are retiring. Damn. Yeah. We were just giving them a spit in the face. Mm-hmm. Goddamn. You know, you have to do it. We haven't been here in 11 years. You gotta do something. Philly's just throwing punches. Yeah, but here's some other fun baseball news that you find a little more interesting. Is somebody else, another team, also broke their playoff drought. They had the longest one in MLB history. 21 years without making the playoffs. The last time they made it, 9-11 happened. Oh my god. But uh, this team is the Seattle Mariners, mm. who were formerly owned by Nintendo. <laughs> yes, that's a true story. At one point in time, Nintendo owned <laughs> Nintendo the owned Seattle, Mariners. Seattle Mariners. Did they make a game with it? Is that why? Uh, I think they just owned it. <laughs> but uh, there was like a special DS where with the Mariners stuff on it because that's sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but another cool thing that I remember is uh, there was an exclusive, like, DS app you could get, like, on the DS. I think it was on the DSi. It was, like, it'll let you order food and stuff from the stadium. Mm. I don't know when they stopped owning them, but, yeah, that one point, Nintendo owned the Mariners. That's funny. I think it was, like, in the 90s and until, like, 2013 or so, something like that. Alright, let's see. Okay, yeah, August uh, 2016, it looks like, is when they sold the team. But, you know, that's cool. And now they're in the playoffs, and they also won in the first round. So, you know, the magic of playoff baseball is doing its thing. Nintendo owned a baseball team. It's okay, Pepsi owned a Navy. That is true. Pepsi had one of the biggest Navies on Earth at one time. I think it was the 7th of, like, the 8th. It was, like, top 10. It was, like... Yeah. But it was like 8 through 6. It's just funny. Yeah. It's such a stupid fact. You know, that's just like the first step to our 40k lives when companies own like gargantuan like armies. Yeah. And they just start shooting down everybody. I mean, Fanta was made in Nazi Germany because they that's weren't true. allowed to drink Coke. That's true. And Coke bought Nazi shit. Yeah. It says a lot about... uh. You know, companies. Really old companies, though. Yeah. Those are companies that have been around. A lot of companies who were coming around, like, the early 1900s. Yeah. Were like, because they're stuck right in the middle of World War II. Yeah. <laughs> Especially at, like, their height. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, but what else was there about other companies? There was another crazy company. That, oh, I forget. <laughs> A lot of companies have to do with being uh, related to Nazi Germany. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was going to say, uh, Henry Ford was uh, the massive racist. and he, Really? Like, yeah. <laughs> was um, he actually? Holy shit. Yeah. He was, he was not a great guy, but, like, Ford, like, you know. He, he still made the car. Yeah. But, like, come on, dude. <laughs> he, he did some shit. <laughs> I mean, I think he wanted to, like continue selling to Germans or something like that. I don't know if that's true, but something along those lines. Oh, really? Like, it was. Yeah. I mean, because you just want to make money. You don't really care about the expense of the people, right? Yeah. Especially back then. Just fuck it. It's all about money. Money. Oh, uh, man. I don't know what else to talk about. It's kind of a bad thing. <laughs> you have anything else? So I don't, I don't want to end it here. Um, what is it? 
<laughs> I played Crusader Kings. Um, oh yeah. Which is like Hoi Four. Yeah. But it's in like the it's yeah. kinda like in the Middle Ages. Which so one do like, you get? It's Crusader Kings three. Oh, that's the new one. It's the one that's on Game Pass. We were playing. Oh, I forgot it's on Xbox now. Yeah. Mm. It, you should play that. It's like a I'll play it's it. like Hearts of Iron, but it's a little harder. It yeah. is a little harder. I've seen videos and of You yeah. have to like uh you have to have a lot of like micromanagement, mm -hmm. kind of like Koi Four, but in the micromanagement in the sense of like relationships and the people you have around you, like you really have to make sure that the people that are around you are good. Yeah, that like, reminds me of. Uh, now I have something to talk about because uh, in I took a college course in like last not last semester but last year I took a well last year and the year before I took two history classes in those two years, they were on Western civilization history and it started from like cavemen people to like the first class ended the year like 1300 or like not during the protestant reformation mm -hmm. and then the next class picked up from there and ended it like world war one damn yeah and it was really cool and uh we were talking about like feudalism and all the stuff of like medieval europe yeah. and he brought up crusader kings and he was it's like a good ass game yeah he's like it's a it's a fun game because I guess he's a bit of a gamer. He's like I recommend playing CK two or he said three was coming out, but two was the newest one. At the three time. is fun. I heard three is really good. Three is the only video game in existence where <laughs> I can fuck your wife and then kill you. Yeah, <laughs> and then you so can funny. and then you can fuck a wife's husband. <laughs> yeah, you can so just, stupid. You can just do yeah. whatever. <laughs> just remember as soon as Nick, I'm gonna. I'm gonna fuck your dad. I'm gonna fuck your dad. <laughs> no. You could just do so much weird, weird shit in there too. I just love we're it. we're doing Ireland. Oh so no. I'm the bottom I'm like the left like quadrant of Ireland and okay. then Caleb's the top part of Ireland mm -hmm. and then Colin's the right side and then Nick is the bottom side. Damn, Colin's got the You're kind of fucked. So we gotta. No, we're not fighting each other. Oh, you're an We are United Ireland, and we are oh. going to kick ass. That's what we're planning on doing. I've already started scrapping with Vikings. <laughs> I'm <laughs> winning. Let's go. <laughs> My army is like the second biggest out of all of ours, and the first thing I did was roll up the Scandinavia and start just killing some Vikings. Oh my god. You skipped Britain? Thing I did. <laughs> no, I'm not going to Britain. Fuck that. They're oh. too strong. Oh, yeah, that's true. But the Vikings aren't? I'm going for the little outposts. Oh, okay. I took gotta... Iceland. That's what I did. Oh, okay. I went there and You're I just killed everybody. Small. I'm, I'm going to take as much of the, the small islands as I can before all those Cretans on Ireland can start touching everything else. This is my strategy. Yeah. We can't kill each other, but I am going to do a little bit of X. I'm going to take as much land as I can. Oh, <laughs> man. There's going to be... Chaos. But what if they all jump I need in to a make war sure that you? when no, because that's why, because they're gonna <laughs> fuck with me. So like if you try anything, they're all gonna jump you. Like, yeah. <sighs> that's why I need to become bigger than them as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. Faster, stronger. You gotta be the sixth. I have to be the first army that reaches like 10k or something. I'm telling I need to. Yeah, you're gonna be the sixth Because our armies are like army. 1,000, 2,000 right now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna... gotta start small. I tried to invade England, but they stopped me. Oh no! They, one of the first, the first peninsula I went up on, they, uh, I fought them and I killed them and I sacked their entire city and I was nice. literally able to take their city. But I found out that there was also another country also going to war with them, and they were like, "Hey, well, we were at war first, and we're also here to take the land. So if you take the land, we're gonna fight you for it." And I was like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and I also didn't, like, look to see if they had an alliance with anybody, and I checked, and they were, had an alliance with, like, half of Britain, and I was like, <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, no, I just walked away and took the L on that one. Yeah, you don't want to fuck with Britain too early. We had to do a second game, because on my first game, I, uh, I just got invaded by, um, Norway for no reason. Oh, they just, they literally came over to Ireland and were just fucking with us. Like, Damn. they literally just rolled up and attacked me for no reason. Like, and then they took the rest of Ireland because nobody else was strong enough to fight them. Yeah. There you go. You know, that's just how it is. You just gotta be careful. With, but with now that we have all of Ireland, with our combined forces, we could kill. We could fight Norway. I think it would be fine. Oh, okay. You so gotta, we are now strong enough. You're gonna take down Norway? No. Oh, okay. 
I'm just saying if if we have to defend ourselves from Norway, because we're not going after them. They just came after us. Yeah. So I guess we could finally shift focuses to uh, back to our Russia-Ukraine war. Oh, about the bridge. Yeah. Uh, do you know anything about that? I actually haven't. I this is the first time I haven't been keeping up with it this week, so I really don't know what's happened. Yeah. So uh, a bridge that connects Crimea to I think mainland Russia or Ukraine. Uh, they, it was, there was an explosion on it a couple days ago. Yeah, they blew it up GTA 3 style. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I don't think it's exactly known who blew it up yet. Russia's trying to blame Ukraine on it, but they say that they didn't do it, but they're happy it happened. <laughs> like, they've been very public. They're like, yeah. Yeah, it uh, connects the peninsula with Russia. Okay, so I can see why they'd be very pissed about that. Yeah. But, you know... They kind of stole Crimea from Ukraine, so you know how it is. They annexed them, man. Yeah. That, that was the worst thing that could have happened. Yeah. So, oh, there's another thing that did happen. Uh, all the states legally voted to join Russia or, like, you know, declare independence from Ukraine. Yeah, they totally did. They totally did it legitimately. Yeah. I think it had, like, totally. uh, like 97% <laughs> of fucking support it's like yeah oh the pipe blew up did you see that what pipe? The, the gas line that, no i didn't was, see that there was a gas line and uh the, the gas line was so big there's no way any normal thing could have damaged it it had to have been a submarine like that's the big suggestion right now is that it was a submarine yeah but everybody when whenever we ask anybody everybody's just like i don't know i don't know what we did it <laughs> People thought it was, it was like, there's no makes, because from what I gained from the story is that nobody would have had any like really major, like big, like win from destroying the pipe. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't have been like, there was no really reason to do it. it yeah, just, that's true. I don't know if they ever figured out what happened, but. Mm. Uh, but, uh, the Eagles are playing tonight. Are they playing tonight? They're also playing a team called the Cardinals. Oh. Uh, so, uh, this week was National, well, not National, Philly uh, hate Cardinals week. So, if you see a Cardinal in the trees or whatever, in a church, in a fucking uniform, like a fucking jersey, you gotta punch them with Philly. <laughs> you gotta know, fuck them up. You gotta, you gotta yeah. rub them up. Yeah. It's a must. Yeah, run those pockets. Come on, give me your money. Exactly. Give me fucking shit. All of it. All the eggs, all the fucking feathers, all the, I don't know, everything about Cardinals. You just gotta destroy it. Fucking them. rip their nests off the trees. Exactly. And... Cardinal sin? Fuck that shit. It's a it's Philly win, more like. Because we won already. We're halfway there. Or I guess two-thirds of the way there, because we swept those dirty Cardinals. Do we have blues. Cardinals here? I don't know. Really I pay attention Cardinals to our here. birds. I see cardinals every once in a while around like here. Like the red ones? Yeah. Oh, okay. The red ones are the males and the brown ones are the females. Oh, uh, okay. I'm pretty sure. I think for the most part that's correct. But cardinals, they're badass looking, though. Like the the actual birds themselves. Yeah. Don't actually harass cardinals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're badass. Like, they'll kick your ass, too, though. They can be assholes. Cardinals, the bird. I'll put that... I'll put a picture of that on screen. <laughs> you know, look at that. Like, they, I don't know. Just something about them. They're just really cool looking. Except that one. He's pretty chomped. That's the angry bird, dude. Yeah, that's the angry bird. You think that's what the angry bird's based off of? Yeah. Probably, actually. Hmm. There's probably like a chart online that says, which angry bird is based on a real bird? Which one's I mean, one the of them's an eagle. Yeah, that's true. Which one's the bomb bird based off of? That's the real question. Pigeon. Just shitting everywhere. Yeah. Like, like it has an antenna on his head though, like a bomb. Look, I don't know, man. What kind of bird's that? Which one's the one that comes back? Like, it doesn't one of them come back to you? Yeah. Which one's the boomerang bird? Which one's the one that like the triangle one? <laughs> yeah. Which bird's a triangle? What's the little tiny blue one? Huh? Oh, uh, maybe that's a blue jay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a bird expert. I know cardinals. What's the big chonky one? The big, like, fat red one. The big bird. The big monster. <laughs> You're right. <It's laughs> you know, I hold on. Yeah. I didn't think about that. That's big bird. Yeah. All right, let's, let's stop talking about the angry birds 
and what they actually are. Was it's, there ever an update on the the Dolphins player? Did they ever? Oh, Tua. Um, I think he's he's doing okay. I'm pretty sure. You ready to play? Oh, I hope he doesn't play. If he plays today, that that team should just retract from the NFL. Okay, well let's see. Oh well. Let's see. Where are you? Get out there, man! You got this. Yeah. Come on. Send yeah. him back out there. He watched McGruber on the flight back. He'll be fine. So bad, dude. That sucks. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't look like he's. He should wait today. like two more weeks at least. Oh yeah, definitely. I can't find. I don't think he's playing today. But there is definitely the NFL has been cracking down on like concussion protocols now ever since because they're a reactive league not a proactive league it's fucking stupid but uh, that happened in Thursday night's game which oh my god that's not that's a whole thing I could talk about but basically Thursday night football is was terrible if you saw uh, my tweets no. about it you didn't see any of them okay it was I read your football tweets I just don't get it so, okay like, I just don't get the football that's true like, I don't know the significance of these, like, wins and what's going on, yeah. so, like... I mean, there was no real significance for this win, but uh, one thing about this game, it was the Broncos-Colts game, but basically, one of the Colts players got injured, and he had, like, trouble balancing, too. Like, he showed issues that he showed. Yeah. Not from the big damage that he got, like, against the Bengals, the video, the famous one. We're getting like, weaker. Yeah. The week before in the Bills game when he had a concussion, but they put him back out there anyway. Well, uh, yeah, you get the fuck back out there. You yeah. got it, dude. Well, I don't know if he had a concussion, but he had, like, balance issues. Like, definitely, like, concussion-based symptoms. Mm -hmm. And then there was that game, which we won't talk about because uh, that was hard to watch. But, uh, yeah, this game that also happened was one of the worst football games I've ever seen. I won't lie. Because nobody could throw a football, nobody could catch a football, no, all they could do was kick the football, and sometimes they couldn't even do that right. The Broncos paid $200 million for this quarterback, and he's playing like straight ass. They got this brand new coach who can't coach. Do you think Team AGF out there on the field could have done a better job? Maybe. There's a good chance. <laughs> we would have known what not to do. Uh, even me. Yeah. I could have been there. Mm hmm There was not a single touchdown scored that game. All of them. Yeah. All they kicked was the field goals, which were only worth three points instead of six. So the final score was 12-9. to nine. What a beautiful score. That's so shit, dude. Seven field goals. One of them got blocked, too, so it could have been, like, 15-9. and nine. Or, no, it would have been 12-12. It would have been shit. Actually, no, they probably would have won if they did that. Oh, well. But the Broncos lost, and they're looking like clowns, because everyone said they were going to be good this year. And, you know, meanwhile, the Eagles are the only undefeated team left. Mm -hmm. So there's that to think about. We're doing good this year. We're going to win. We're going to win? Yeah. I also tweeted that this year is, like, the best year in a long time to be a Philly sports No, nah, my fan. prediction's still going to come true right at the end. Vikings-Jaguars? Well. You still... <laughs> Going strong. Yeah. With that. Hey, to be fair, they both look decent, but that that's probably because every team looks like shit this year. Everyone's every team is like two and two right now, so they're all just like very mid. There's a few teams that are better, and there's a few teams that are worse, but most teams right now are very mid. It's just the year of the mid. The year of the mid. Mm -hmm. Oh, but uh, I actually just thought of something we could do on the podcast in like a month or two. Uh, at the end of the year, we'll probably do like a recap of some things that have happened. We could do like top five albums of the year or top five worst or Hell yeah. top five games you've played, top five movies or whatever. We could do something like that towards the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, but we just, we'll propose the question to everyone who wants to come on. Yeah. So, uh, what would you say, as of right now, is contender for album of the year, game of the year, movie of the year, I guess show of the year, even though I can't really say anything for shows? 
haven't watched really too many shows. So I mean, I, I think Better Call Saul will be the show of the year because it's really what. Oh uh, yeah, this year see. was. I heard it was really good. So I, I really don't. I don't. I haven't watched it yet, so I mm-hmm. can't really say anything about it. For me, it's Boys because that's the first show I watched this year. Oh, I only saw season one, so I don't know. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, I haven't really watched any shows this year, so we'll, we'll move on from that. How about what would you say right now might be album of the year? <laughs> album of the year that you've listened to this year. Kendrick, probably. I think I'm going to agree, probably. Yeah, probably just Kendrick. I'm not going to say that's it for sure right now. That's but not even like my favorite Kendrick album. I just thought, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, I think that might be my album of the year. Yeah, that was pretty good. But other things for me would be uh, The Weeknd's new album this year, Dawn FM. That was really good. I still haven't listened to the Megadeth album, so I don't know. I liked the Megadeth album. I don't think it's album of the year worthy, but like it was pretty good. Yeah. Especially, mostly just for what the band's been through in the past couple of years. Yeah. COVID, uh, they had to get a new bassist. Dave Mustaine had Dave throat Mustaine cancer. had throat cancer. And yeah. It's really impressive they managed to put out an album. So. Mm-hmm. And it's actually been the longest gap in uh, their studio history of no albums was six years. Yeah. From their, did you listen to their 2016 album? Oh, Dystopia? all of them. Oh, you did listen to all of them. Yeah. What would you think of Dystopia. I thought it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. This one I think is a lot better than that one. Mm. It's not my favorite of their like two thousands and on albums, but I think it's it's definitely one of their better ones. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what my favorite album would be by them, but I really like Megadeth. Probably Rust in Peace for me. If I did. Yeah, I think Rust in Peace is mostly viewed as one of the best ones. It's usually he sells, but who's buying? That one too. Also that one's really good. Out there for me. I'd say it's between those two, Countdown to Extinction. Countdown to Extinction's great. Yeah. Euthanasia is okay. Yeah, I like Euthanasia too. All those just classic '80s and '90s ones. Yeah. And you really should have went and saw them. I would have wanted to, but I can't. I was broke. <laughs> then next year, though, if they come back around, yeah. I think they were around last year too. Yeah, they were. They came with Lamb of God. And I wanted yeah. to see them, but I couldn't go because of school. Yeah. I don't know. For album of the year, it's probably Kendrick. Yeah, I think album of the year. Is movie of the year? I didn't see too many movies this year. I don't know what my movie the I didn't really see too many movies this year. But, I don't know. Uh, what did I like that came out this year? I saw Doctor Strange. I thought it was okay, though. I liked I Doctor Strange, but I don't think that's a movie of the year. I don't think that's like a movie of the year. Yeah, I thought it was just all right. I might not have seen the movie of the year. I didn't see the new Top Gun, but apparently it was really good. I didn't see Top Gun. Uh, I didn't see Avatar 2 yet. Yeah, I don't think it's yet. out yet. It's not yeah. out yet. I think we got like a week or two. Yeah, good thing we still have like time We're to have our official predictions. I might go see Avatar like opening day or like the day after. Yeah, I know the original's back in theaters now. I'm going to rewatch it at home. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to see Avatar in theaters because that's like... Yeah. You have to see it in theaters. Everybody wants... Yeah, you got to see Avatar in theaters. People are thinking it's not going to sell. People are thinking nobody wants to go see it. People are thinking... The new like, one? Yeah, people are thinking I've that it's going to flop. I've been saying this for years now, probably since like 2017, because he said that it's going to be a five-part movie series, and he said that when the first one came out. Why did it take him 11 or 12 years to drop the second movie? Because people were very mixed about the first one. People liked the first one, and it made a fuck ton of money. Oh, yeah, it's the best-selling movie of all time. One of, I think. I no, think... it came back to number one, because he released it. Oh, right. Because <laughs> fuck it. Game. Wow. <laughs> That's what he said, pretty much. That's funny. But Endgame was for a bit number one. They're going to re-release Endgame, just to... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to be. It's going to be between those two movies until Morbius 2 comes out and breaks the box arm. You're right. <laughs> Yo, what if that happened? Morbius, the first More one, More people just are going to go see it in the first one. Yeah. And then More two... people are going to go see the second one than the first one. Yeah. That's the sad part of that. Yeah, but... Don't Netflix if you want to go watch it. <laughs> what, Morbius? Yeah. Oh, uh, we're going to morb on Netflix. But anyways, even though you, we can't video... I can't video share that movie, so I can't. I would only be able to like watch it with people around here. You can't video share Morbius. Not on Netflix. You can't do it on Netflix. You remember the Netflix used to have like the party watch system. Yeah. They don't do that. Man, that was such a cool feature. Amazon does it. Amazon Prime does it. Oh really? Yeah. You watch any of like the movies you get with the subscription. Mm-hmm. But yeah, back to Avatar. I. I've never seen it in theaters, but I would love to see it in theaters, even though I know it's not 
as good as everyone hypes it up to be. I think it's a good movie. I think it's a good movie. A lot of people show it. It's got a couple like weird things about it, but I I really like it. Mm-hmm. I like the military in that movie. Like it's very uh, like super. It's kind of like grounded future military tech. Where yeah. it's all metal still, and they still shoot guns, and, like... Yeah. They don't have, like, super la- crazy lasers and, like, stuff it's like that. It's not too over the top. They have, like, helicopters and, like, mechs. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Just... Their mechs are cool. You know you're cool when your Bowie knife is, is as tall as you are out of the mech. That's true. Yeah. But still, I don't know. It's just... It's more about the special effects in that movie. Yeah. And I think it kind of... The story isn't too great because of that. Yeah, it was all the budget went into that, which I get. It. I get why people like it. It's a groundbreaking movie, like looking wise. Yeah, but I just don't think the second one's really going to expand that much. I, I, it does fantastic, but I don't think so. I just think people put way too much faith into James Cameron because well, he made Terminator that one time, so like he can make anything. Didn't he then make. Terminator 2. Yeah. And then he made Terminator 3. Yeah. I don't know. Just, I think people put way too much, like, of a praise on him. Yeah, Titanic was also good, I guess. But I rewatched it recently. It's alright still. I like Titanic, but it's not, like, one of the best movies ever made, like people say it is. But that's another one that's, like, really huge and, like, made a fuck ton of money. Mm-hmm. Because I, I remember asking people who were around when it was out in theaters, and it was like, they just had that movie in the theater for, like, months. Like, you know how movies usually are just, like, two months at most in the mm. theater? That one just kept going. Yeah. But the, uh, that's the end of my uh, movie rant. How about Game of the Year? Elden Do Ring. we even need to say Elden, what it Elden is? Ring. It's Elden Ring. Dude, it was Elden Ring. Elden Ring won Game of the Year. God of War hasn't come out yet, so it hasn't had a chance to even, like, punch, take a couple mm-hmm. punches to, like, try. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. That game is going to drown. It, it better. If, if Elden Ring doesn't win Game of the Year, I will. I would actually be very upset yeah. about that. I don't even know what could possibly compete for it that I've played this year. What came out this year? Slime Rancher 2. That's what came out this year. Hell I yeah. I have not even played the first one yet. Damn. All right. Uh, I guess we'll end it here, then. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Remember to uh, tip your delivery driver. Yes, sir. You know, I don't do that.